I am ready for the class. Okay, very good. Hello, everyone. I, I am teacher. Teacher, it's great. Teacher for science. For, for science. 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 Physic. Ah, science, science. Hi, guys. Yes. Good evening. Hi, How teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Doing great. Welcome, Wilbur, Juan, Wilson, Hector, Mauricio, and Carolina. How was your day? Hi. Very fine. Fine, fine. fine. Good. Good for me. That's it. Everything great. 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 Everything new? Very good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. All right, let's get started. Um, we're going to work on section. Hold on. <clears throat> 1.6, I think it was. Alternative statement. Okay. And we're going to look at questions, okay, in the simple past. This is not the one. Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yesterday. Okay. Right. Let's do the exercise, okay? So everybody should be on section 1.5. Let's do, we're going to decide whether it is was, were, or the negative form, okay? Number one, Carolina, can you read, please? Uh, which is the correct use? Uh, number one is, uh, he was born in Spain. In Spain. In Spain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember you have to connect the sound, right? It's not a Spain, it's Spain. So in Spain. In Spain. Spain. In 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 Spain. Perfect. That sounds better. Okay. Number two. In Wilbur. Uh, okay. You should say my parents. Uh, will you mind up the, the screen? Yeah, thank you. You should say my parents uh, were in, in France. Okay, Mauricio, next one. Number three? Yes. What is grammatical, grammatically? Grammatically? Correct, uh, the grammatically correct answer to this question. Where were you born? Mm -hmm. Where were you born? Okay, everybody, we're working on section 1.5, so you're supposed to be completing it right now, all together at the same time. Ms. Carolina, are you on the platform? Yes, yes, uh, yes. Teacher. Okay, great. Uh, uh, I, I do the, the, the platform. Okay. The exercise, I do. Great. Welcome, Rene, Cristia, Monica. So what is the correct answer then? Mauricio? Number three. Mm -hmm. I was. I was born in Mexico. I was born in Mexico. I was born in, I wasn't born in Peru. Wasn't born in Peru. Great. Rene, number four. I cannot hear you. Okay, Monica, number four. Monica, you're muted. Number four. Yes. My my wife and I was in Mexico. But this is incorrect, though. It's where. It's where. Yeah, yeah, my wife and I uh, is what subject? Is we, right? Same, same we. Okay. Exactly. So we were, or my wife and I were in Mexico. My wife and I uh, is we. Yes, exactly. Okay, number five. 
Juan Luis Moreno. Juan Luis, you're muted. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, number five, the English quiz was a little difficult. Was a little difficult. Let's yes. check the answers. 20 to 20. Yeah, it doesn't let me send it. But everything is right. <clears throat> okay, yes. so everybody click on send. I cannot do it. Do you have any questions about this? No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Easy peasy? Yeah. Uh, more or less. <laughs> we're going to continue practicing. As you notice, we're still working with the past of the verb be and other verbs. So we will continue that tonight, all right? Let's watch a video. Everybody mute the microphone. Pay attention, please. NWH question using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask answer. Guys, mute the microphone, please. Rene, I don't know who else. Yeah. In Carolina. Yeah. Mute the microphone, please. Uh -huh. Everybody mute the microphone, please. Thank you. One. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns, we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question, and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be, and I'm going to go ahead and color this in, let's say, uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in, let's say, red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here and then this is going to follow the subject and after this this will follow the complement there we go I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there okay all right there we go so in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if we look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I change the subject now. 
And let's say that now I want to ask about heat. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here we can um, use names instead of the pronouns. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word, and then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we're, let me write the same one there, where the verb to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH questions simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. And then and come up with as many. All right. So we basically watched the structure for WH questions. We're going to practice that in a little bit. First, we're going to practice answering the questions. I sent a list of verbs in case you have forgotten some of those irregular verbs to discuss, okay? And after we practice answering these questions, we're going to practice making questions, okay? So let's practice these three questions. And let me see how you're going to answer them. And then I will send you some questions, all right? Giovanni. Were you a good student in high school? Yes, I was. Okay, great. Um, hold on. Oscar Angel, who was your hero when you were a child? Guys, can you take a picture of these three questions? We're going to include these and the ones that I'm going to send, okay? So, Angel, just to give you an example. And this is mixed, so for some of them, you're going to use the irregular verbs, regular verbs, and also the verb be. So be careful because we're practicing both structures at the same time. Don't get confused. So have you taken notes of the questions? Say, take a screenshot or something, all right, so you can practice or a picture. I'm sending the question for right now. Picture. I have a question for you. Tell me. In the first sentence, were you a good student in high school? It's mm -hmm. correct the structure because I don't no veo, I don't see the verb to be in past. Where, where, which one? Where, 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 where. 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 The, entonces the 
So you doble, doble H. Ah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Mm, this is a yes or no question, like this. Uh -huh. Was Peter born in China? And this ah, okay. is WH. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's practice those questions and the ones that I'm sending. I will make the groups, accept the invitation, please, and check what's up, okay? Here we go. Any other questions? No? Okay. Accept the invitation, no. everyone. Make sure you do that. Okay. Okay. Accept the invitation, Carolina, Irene, Angel. Alicia, Oscar Angel, accept the invitation, please. Teacher, can you send me the invitation? New, again. Okay. Yeah, hold on. I sent one right now. Did you get it? No idea. You didn't. No idea. I don't know why you never get it. <laughs> so it's it's not going to work then. Um, hold on, maybe Angel, Oscar Angel, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, so Irene, you're gonna practice with him, all right? Okay. So the two of you, go ahead. Okay, okay, Oscar Angel. Okay. Well, w, w, w question. So we have to create some um, uh, question using WH question. WH question. Um, for example. Yeah. That's the questions that I sent. And, and also make some, but I'm gonna send some more so that you can practice all of all of the structure. Okay. Okay. Um, what? Selena, verdad? Sí. Okay. Um, what? Oh, no. Where? 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 Ay, Selena. Están las preguntas. Ahorita ya llegaron las preguntas. Ahorita llegaron las preguntas. Ok, yeah. vamos a verlas. Questions? Estoy en mi phone y me cuesta un poco más. Ok, de... When I was a child, but I like the um, Pink Panther. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe your parents, your mom, or your dad. No. <laughs> Did you check the questions that I sent? Uh, yes. yes. All right, let's discuss those. Ah, uh, okay. It was porque. It was. was. Pregunta, ajá, pregunta con word por, por el Q que. Ajá, pero para, para, hay, es responder. Uh, yes, just a question. Uh, uh, where you tired this morning? Uh, because I, I. Mr. Wilson, it, it's a yes or no question. Ah. Uh, <laughs> were yes, you so tired? Were you, yes or no. Morning? Uh -huh, first no, of all, that. no, 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 I wasn't. Okay, yeah, very good. Great. <laughs> Your turn, Wilson. Excuse me? Your turn. Ask the question. A, a question. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Were you hungry this morning? It's for Fernando, 
Rina I, or for me? For Juan Luis. Okay. I yes, I was. I was hungry every every time. <laughs> I am I am a diet and then I am hungry every time. <laughs> I, I am on a diet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hungry, hungry, hungry every uh, time. In this moment. In this moment I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Uh, where um, I asked to Rina, okay. were you born in another city? Were you born in another city? Mm, no. And you, Crisia? Hello. That's nice. Uh, Crisia, you're on mute. Uh, your microphone oh. is in mute. Is this a Crisia, your microphone is muted. Okay, let's wait. Meanwhile, ask someone else. Okay. Yeah, the two of you, I guess. Gabriela and Giovanni. Indiana. Were you hungry this morning? Yes, I was. <laughs> yes, I was. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me ask it. Asking the, the, the next one. Uh, Were you born in another city? If yes, which one, uh, Gabriela? Um, no, I was born in San Salvador. Okay. And you? Yes, yeah, San Salvador too. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you, Diana? I was born in San Salvador too. <laughs> okay. Uh. okay, the next one. Uh, were you a good elementary school student, Gabriela? Mm. Okay. Another question. Uh, were you happy yesterday? <laughs> yes, I, I, I was happy yesterday. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Because the selector was. Why? What was your best friend in high school? Mm. Sorry, I can, I can hear. I can hear you. Who was your best friend on high school? Ah, okay. Uh, my my best friend in the high school uh, was um, Maria. Uh, Mauricio. Uh, uh, I was yes, I was in home. I was home, or I, I was, was in home. my house. Yeah. Uh, okay, I was in my house. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, where were you at seven o'clock this morning, Gabriela? I was driving, drive to my work. Okay, and you, Giovanni? Uh, yeah, I was driving to, to my work. Okay, are you almost done? Mm. Almost finished? Uh, we are at the middle of the, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> the list. Sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> Teacher. 
One question. Tell me. <laughs> and can you say bestie to say best friend? Yeah, yeah. My bestie. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say friend it? was or my best my, I, my best friend were no, my best friend was singular was mm -hmm. okay. yep go on uh, are you almost done yes you finished yeah yes okay yeah i guess let me check on the other guys hold on we're gonna go back now angry okay angry mm -hmm. yes angry and um, the last night bye bye ah, okay <laughs> okay we're back okay it's, hello it's back. <laughs> so tell me something interesting you heard share with me mm -hmm. about what uh, what who something interesting about what you heard from others. From others. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, nothing interesting, guys? Yes. Uh, teacher, how do you say uh, la la de dinero. Dinero. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying, why are you talking about that? <laughs> are you thinking about committing any crime? It is no, money, one, money laundering. Of, oh, yeah. Money laundering. Money laundry. Yeah, Very do you close. want me to spell that for close. you? Yeah. Money laundering. Laundry. You are going to talk about crime in advance. So you will learn <laughs> this vocabulary. So what were you saying? Tell me. Uh, one, of our, one of our friends uh, talked to us, the, the, tell to us that he uh -huh. was in a meeting. Told us. Told okay, us. Talking about, told us he was in a meeting uh, talking about money laundering. Wow, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Okay, anybody else? You want to share yeah. something? <laughs> Rene, you were saying something? If you are thinking about money laundering, please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> well, to finally get out of poverty, I don't know. <laughs> All right, yeah. uh, we're going to do this exercise in 1.8. So everybody go to section 1.8. But that's a common thing, Fernando. You know what? My students talk about money laundering every day because they work in a bank. So they talk about mm. those stuff. Yeah. yeah, I guess it was interesting for you to hear that, <laughs> having a meeting about that. Okay, let's do the exercise number one. Carolina, go ahead. Yes, I was. Read the were question and were, answer, please. Uh, with were you a good exam. student? No, were you a good student? Were you a good student in high school? Miss yes, Carolina, I was. connect it. Good student. Good, good, good student. Good yes. student in high it. school? Yes, I was. Okay, is that real? Yes. <laughs> Number two, Rene. Um, you born to what city in this? Um, where you born in this city? Okay, great. Number three, Fernando. Uh, for my question, match this answer. My favorite subject were math and science. Uh, what were your favorite subjects in school? Mm -hmm. Very good. Angel, number four. You're muted. He's trying to speak. Angel, you're muted. Okay, Mauricio, go ahead. When Number was four. Peter born? <laughs> okay, when was Peter born? Number five. Who? Tricia. Hmm. Oh, 
Patricia. Um, I, I was, no, no, uh, number five. Yes, how, I was 15 how, years old. How old oh. were you in 1999? Let's check the answer, see how we did. Yes, yes. Okay. 20 to 20. Yay, good job, everyone. So submit it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now we're going to do this. It might, it might take me a little bit longer because <clears throat> write them down, practice them, write them down or just practice them, but I will ask you at the end. Okay. The second uh, was, was number two. Number, number two, two is where? Uh, were you tired were you yesterday? Tired yesterday. Yes. Estuviste tú triste ayer. Yes, in number three. Um, uh, the water. Was the water good? Was the water good? Was the water good? Is it this is correct, teacher? Yes. Yeah, okay. It's correct. It good. What is the answer? Uh, was the water good? The weather. Weather. Yeah, but what is the answer? Yes. Was the water good? It's correct. That is the question, but what is the answer? Uh, yes, 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 it was. Yet it was. Or no, it, it wasn't. wasn't. Okay, yeah, that works. It's okay. No or uh, WH sería, question. WH question sería was estuvo el clima bueno? <laughs> no sé. ¿Qué más podríamos preguntar? Oh no, um, that that is the question, but what is the correct structure in English? The weather I... the weather uh, help, help help me. <laughs> the weather be good, teacher? Was It's the not... weather good? Was the was the weather was the weather good? Yes. So, Karina, yes. you have to take notes of the structure, all right? So you can put it in practice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Was the weather subject and and so on? Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Write write the sentences. Yes. 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 Sorry, you're writing yes. them. Yes. Yes. Uh, the name. Mm -hmm. Al doctor cuando era joven. Was he a doctor when he was young? Yes. In the answer? Uh, in the class last week? JP in the class last week. So Were they in the class last, last week? Yes. Were they? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. The class. Good. Good. Very good. So you're writing a uh, affirm yes or no in WH questions, right? Yes, we have to we have to make the answers for every each each question. No, but make two questions. One yes or no question and one WH question per each. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So we only understand they were we we Julie and Lucy at the meeting. Where were Julie and Lucy at the meeting? Yes, the possible yes. Uh, answer. Uh -huh. Yes, they were or they no they weren't. Oh no they weren't. Yes. Score number 10. Um, uh, were we in Paris? Were we in uh, Paris? Answer? Yes, uh, yes, uh, we are. We were. Or oh, no, we weren't. Is correct? What? Okay, let's see. So write 
I, I was watching questions? another image. Sorry, one yes, no question and one WH question for each. Both. Okay. We have to complete. No, you have to make a question, a yes or no question and a WH question, both. Both types. Okay. With the same, okay. I had the same exercise. Maybe I was. Or was I, teacher? That is no, was I, yes, it's okay. Was I. Was I correct, yeah. Was I okay. At some point you can ask like, the, uh, you can ask like, estaba roja My, in the myself. presentation. Huh. Yeah, you can say that. Was I blushed? It is possible. Really? Yes, why not? Okay, I got it. <laughs> I was suppose I... you can do it. <laughs> no, it is possible. You can ask questions about yourself. <laughs> okay. And also make WH questions. Are you making both? Yes. Okay, both. Okay, great. Um, number so, was John at the party or why why was John at the party? Uh huh. Because she because he wants he was oh, he wants to wanted. enjoy the last he night. Past. What he wanted in the past. He wanted. Ah, uh, he wanted. Yes. Okay. And no, why? Well, well, no, why? Well, were, well, why were you no. tired? Why were you tired? Ah, por qué? Sí. Why? Why, why were you why, tired? Yeah. Yes. Why? Yes. yes. Sí. Por qué? Yes. Sí. Yes. Other form. Yes. For the three question, the double H form. Maybe who was Sorry, tired yesterday? Excuse in, me. In the second question, in the second question, who who was? No, who were? Who were? In the second question, who were? Where, where was John at the party? Where got, where was? Mm, maybe when because if you're saying where in yeah, yeah when. It's okay no, it's okay when yes when. when why when, when, when was John at the party mm -hmm. right very good the three question were you tired yesterday in the other I have Ten year, ten years. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Sería how. Any questions here? How was the weather good? Number three. Yep. Perfect. Four. Four. We be too noisy. I don't know what the noisy mean. Ruidoso. Yes. We hard to. Uh, matters in my career or in my major. Aha, uh -huh, my major. Uh, Excellent. Hey, Edgar, <laughs> I, what were you saying about 20 years? I was 20 years? Uh, what? what? Sorry? You said what? 20 years. You were 20 years? 20, 20 years. Yes. One of you said something about 20 years. Who was it? Uh, okay. Uh, Sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, repeat, please. Oh, no. No, it's okay. Never mind. It's all right. You were <laughs> 20 years. Yeah, somebody said I had 20 years. I don't know if you were talking about the age. If that's the case, you have to say I was 20 years old. But I'm not sure if that's what you were was saying. Ah, okay. Please. Okay. So. El otro sería... Okay, we're back. Okay. <laughs> you guys practice. Okay. Here you are. All right. Help me out. So I'm going to ask you for three of them. Any volunteers, all right? So one of them says, I be on time. What question can you ask? 
was I on time? Was I on time? Perfect. Was I on time? Was I on time? Tell me a WH question with you be tired yesterday. Uh, why were you why were you tired yesterday? Very good. Okay, yes. another one. Number ten. We beat Paris. Yes or no question. Were we were we in Paris? Paris? Where are we in parties? WH question for number nine. Where were you at the eight meeting? Where were Julia and Lucy? Where were Julia and Lucy at the meeting? But why where? Maybe. Why? Yeah. Ah. It says at the meeting, so maybe you already know where. Can we say, for example, how long were Julia and Lucy at the meeting? Okay. Yeah, you can say how long, okay, uh, when, why, okay. so on. Now, is it clear? Everybody was doing a great job. I didn't hear many mistakes, so I, I feel like you have understood the, the structure. Am I right? Right, teacher. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Wilbur, you asked me if you could say, was I on time, right? Yeah. Yeah, you see, am I right? I'm I'm asking about myself. It is possible. <laughs> okay. Yes, I got it. <laughs> so we're gonna continue practicing. Uh, I hope we have time. Read the objective, please. Rina. Build, build English conversational skills with the phrase used to you can use to describe your, your child's childhood or past. By the end Where's of the childhood? When you were a kid. So that's the noun. Like my childhood was perfect or traumatizing. It depends. <laughs> okay, Brotherhood. continue. No, childhood. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answers with used to. Learn English phrase like, I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I am very neat. And I'm very neat. Neat. I am very neat. Yeah, this is a very, guys. Remember, right? It's very. not very. 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 So, very. 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 It has to be vibrate. Very. No, there has very. to be air flowing. Very. Very. very messy. Very. Very. Okay, let's, let's watch the video. Pay close attention because we're going to practice this tomorrow. And it has to do with the past. So everybody mute the microphone, please. Okay, everybody mute the microphone. Fernando, Carolina. <laughs> All right, pay attention. Mute the microphone, please. Okay, let's watch. Childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used and after that I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. 
Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint, and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. You still refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past and now it's going to be in the present and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say I didn't use to collect anything. But I do now. There we go. 
And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to, and that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to collect anything. This just happened. Alrighty, so this topic we're going to practice. Tell me. Use used to is solia. Yes, we're gonna practice and study that tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna practice it through writing and through speaking. All right, so please don't be absent tomorrow. Um, I cannot answer any questions because we have to finish the class. I have another one at eight. So I need to go, guys. But tomorrow I will answer any of your questions, okay? Thank you very okay. much for joining us. It was a pleasure seeing you Thank as you always. Much. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You too. See Thank you. you. Thank tomorrow. you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.